Hi, it's Stephanie. I was cruising around the web this morning and noticed that uh, Slide Rocket had some cool new templates out with animated infographics and I thought I'd be able to replicate that over in Storyline. We all know that Storyline doesn't have a really strong set on uh, feature set on the animation side, but it does have slide transitions which uh, coupled with animations can create some pr pretty cool effects. So let me show you what I've done here. I'm going to click the next button and uh, the, uh, the rest of the presentation will just self run. You can see these little balls went flying by, uh, a, a line is kind of going by, you're getting a sense that you're going down through the presentation, some information is appearing. Here we're going to take a hard right, and that's a slide transition off to the right here. Some people come up, slide tr transition upward, some object animations on a slide. This little bee appears to just hang at the top and then fall down. An uh, infographic chart that animates in with some numbers and a mouse click and then it uh, wound, uh, winds up with a little transition out a goodbye and there it is. So just a small little example of what you can do in Storyline but it's pretty cool because the com again the combination of animated effects with transitions can create a very fluid motion and you may want to consider doing something like this when you're uh, doing a beginning of an e-learning course or you just have a concept that you really want to explain well and you don't want to use just static pictures this is actually a low budget uh, production which can result in some pretty cool effects so let me show you how I did this over in Storyline this is fairly uh, simple to do it's only a set of well in this case I think about 10 slides they're just linear they go one after another the first one is an on click clicking on the next button to begin and then all the rest are just timed and they automatically uh, forward to the next slide. So in the first slide here we've got some objects on the slide and no animations really, nothing going on. What I want, wanted to do to begin with was go from this slide to this slide where it has some information and that line that we saw is actually following us along and giving, giving us that downward motion effect. If I just went from this slide to this slide, I really wouldn't get much of an effect. It would all happen so quickly that I wouldn't feel like I'm going down. So to create that kind of downward motion or a motion in any direction, all I need to do is put in a slide in the in-between that transitions and it just lengthens out the transition and it kind of elongates that effect. So in this case, the there's the line. Now there's no animations on this line at all. Where the animations are occurring is in the slide transitions. So when I go to the animation menu in Storyline, I can either do object animations or I can do slide animations. And it's with the slide animations in this case, um, this is an uncover up that gives us, although it says uncover up, when you play it back it actually produces a downward motion so it's almost the exact opposite of what you think might happen kinda like backing up a boat trailer <laughs> same idea you know the steering wheel <laughs> it's always the opposite of what you think it should be so it will take a little bit of practice but I'm not gonna go through and explain all of these because you uh, will have the source code if you're interested you can download that and take a look at what I've done uh, but let me just go through a couple more. So this kind of downward motion is occurring. These little balls are, are coming in. They're actually uh, object animating in. They're from the top and then they're going out in some cases from the bottom. So it gives you this kind of dropping effect. These balls are also kind of dropping downward with you. When you get to this slide, this is where we took the hard right. So basically nothing happens on this slide, but it's the next slide where the transition uh, is uh, conveniently called uncover left which gives us the rightward motion effect and then it continues on the B you may want to take a look at what I did with the B to create the effect that the B sitting at the top and then dropping and staying at the bottom and then the rest is pretty pretty straightforward the uh, this particular one has a few layers in it as well because the other thing you can do with storyline is you can animate the um, the slide transition for for the slide but if you have layers you can also change the transition per layer now that's going to give you some even more uh, even more cool effects the combination of layer transitions and object transitions plus slide transitions all those combined you can you can actually do quite a bit within storyline and uh, that's it that's really all I wanted to show you so uh, feel free to download the source file and take a look at the published output and if you have any questions you know how to get a hold of me thanks <laughs>